Welcome back, guys, to Mass Effect 3! As we invade this Cerberus lab. And Cortez makes his way back so we can get these samples. Lots of stuff going on here. I think this is a simulation of the multiplayer, more or less, here, to give you a kind of taste. You come back here, Cortez? I'm waiting. Uh. Got more samples. Okay, don't know what I end to get shooting up by there. Extra damage and stealth the after all. Point. Ready for pickup. There. There's more samples though, sir. Oh, we got it. Good. Bye bye, sir. Don't try and get me here. Beat you all around the place while you burn up, sir. You just keep on coming. It's fine if you want to get some more stuff. Where's this last guy that's getting away from us? <laughs> Melee is quite handy for us at times. Where's the aura and all that? There were even more samples there! I could have got them all! Instantly taking us out of the fray there. That's really mean, that! Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. No problem, I'm generally good at making good work work. More credits, great. War terminal to use, we won't see that right now. Alliance funding extra credits. I'm just wondering if we got more research there. It is kind of odd, actually, they've got that security terminal in our way. Any more news, specialist trainer? Right, we've got more email, probably. No, we haven't got any at all. So apart from that, it's time to help. Oh, we never even met up with Joker. What an idiot I am to not meet up with one of our staunchest allies who's been with us through thick and thin. The only one on the ship currently that always stuck with us. Hello? Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. You know, I, I never did that. I always listened to them very intently. I just thought they could help, and they never did. Commander? Commander, indeed. Can't talk to Edie over here anymore, though. What's with that? Oh, I guess they took away the obvious things. I mean, if they had that display up all the time, it'd be obvious she was an AI, after all. Even though everyone seems to acclimatize to her really, really easily. So we'll leave this system. We've got 100% of app assets here. I'm not sure about the whole reaperness of everything though around here. Just wondering if there's any more assets to be found without summoning the reapers. So are these red things where the reapers are coming from? 
or something along those lines. Seems that the further away from the red things I scan, the less alertness I summon. But where this last acid is, is beyond me, that's for sure. probably leave very soon because they're coming right we'll come back for Sigurd's cradle but one more acid in that place it's time to rescue the Turian Primarch I think let's get on this we had one other mission to pick up as well which was over here the recover Prophean artifact from Eden Prime but I think it's probably best to do this one Let's move along the creation of this weapon, eh? Well, fuel depots around the place, so I'm guessing we just can pay money. That's nice to know, great. I don't seem like the Reapers are nearest this si- Well, actually, the Reapers are in this system. That confuses me a little bit. Well, let's rescue the Turin Primarch. Why are they not responding to me pinging everywhere? That's what I want to know. We only have two squad mates, so there's no point in asking who to take. And we didn't level up that I know of. We haven't gained any extra weaponry stuff, so we'll just move on. getting decimated strongest military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was it like this on earth yes Shepard I'm so sorry yeah commander the LZ is getting swarmed James open that hatch So, with the battle above looking really bad, seems I take to sniping. That's from above. A nice headshot from up here. Moving targets and everything. Like, super moving. All right. Seems I got most of them. One left. Oh, four shots from a moving vehicle. I think that worked out pretty well. Hi, guys. Get out of my way. So Turians can't do anything against these guys either. Cheers, man. So we got to check around, of course, for any materials we can find.
Yeah. Such a massive foe to face, and all the Turian warships didn't even look like they were remotely denting them. Well, they may be so big and lumbering and just can destroy everything over time. They're really not good for these kind of like precision ground stuff to take out troops like this. They're really bad for that, in fact. Oh, body bags. Not good. The reinforcements haven't arrived. Ground report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to the life signal monitoring system of this unit's suit. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, Contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Let's get moving then. Any gear up here? Let's go. Well, you mean that then? Next to the gigantic Reaper would have been a better kind of like landmark site there. Well, I love all this ammo capacity now. 20 extra bullets, more body bags, not great. Sir, shuttle carrying the fighter mechanics has not arrived. Presumed MIA. How many fighters are in for repair? 29, sir. Absolutely critical level 8 repairs. Every serviceable fighter is in the air. ASAP. Got it? Yes, sir. In bad situations there. Can I go up and help? Up and on your left. This is the main barricade. Up and on our left, so that way or that way. Another data pad here. Commander Hexnar. Supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should be thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gears, filtering units instead. It'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. Sure will. Ah! More equipment, I see. Great. Anything else? Assault rifle piercing. A uh, new weapon there as well. M27 scimitar. A new shotgun. You say up and on the left. Do you mean up there or up the ladder? Can I even get up the ladder? No, I can't. You will not let us up to help with the barricade fight. Go on then, Liar and James. Let's go. Us. You mean up there then? Oh, I don't have my ammo on for some reason. Probably because I just joined mission, of course. The R is always clever enough to put hers on. I saw the red marker there. I missed completely though. When you get some faster reload times going here. Thanks for the singularity, but there's more coming from the distance.
we used to do to us, though, is just burn them to run. Burn them to death. Repeatedly. No more monsters coming from that way. Which way we're supposed to be heading is what gets me, though. Let's set that on fire. Nice bit of cover for any advance by them here, but no one around. Slightly expect them to jump out of anywhere here. That ship scared me a little. We can't repair it from this panel. Okay, we have to go make someone make the repair. I prefer James to go do it really. Liara is probably better for it, but I'd rather keep Liara with us for his crowd control. James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. I prefer Liara for her kind of like ah. One Earth just hit us there. Okay, we are in trouble. We got messed up very fast, very easy. I need to change weapon. This weapon is not good for this. Roll out the way. We can roll and dodge now. Get off me, husk. Great, get down here as fast as possible, because these guys are coming from everywhere. I really need to get my weapon power on. General, do you read? Con Tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavan Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Shepard out. Where to next then? Head back to Bartus and crew. And then the tower is still what we're needing to do. And my face. Yeah, I saw you coming. Stop jigging around, sir. I'm trying to shoot you. Okay. Should change back to sniper here, really. Considering I've actually got people to help me out now. Defend the tower's our objective, though. Head back to Corinthus at once. And where's the easiest way to get there is where I wonder. Now that way looks like a possible route, but uh, oh, crevasse. Let's just head back from whence we came. Always a good strategy for this kind of thing. Let me in. So you should be on this one here, if I remember correctly. Who's the next one, then? What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus? Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. You're alive. I'm hard to kill. You should know that. Good to see you again. I 
thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vakarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. I nice know there, Garrus, but what has been dropped off and where? Well, I'm wondering right now. A new sniper rifle as well? Okay, cool. I mean, missed that for our first sweep for the base, but I'd rather keep the Mantis, which is fully upgraded at the moment. Another date pad for a lot of credits, thank you. Right, where are we going? I think it's this way. Personally, airfield is behind you, sir. Is there a way out round here? Yes. And of course, my, uh, my ammo's not on yet again. Speaking of which, we hit the squad screen. And level up our Garrus friend, right. Because you shot, overload. Or do we need arm pissing ammo? Give you an ammo type as well. This is probably going to have a fair bit of armor on him, this guy. Got Turian Rebel, boost weapon damage, health and powers. Always a good thing. Don't want Garrus dying all the time like you used to do back in Mass Effect 1. Increase weapon damage by 40% sounds great. Power damage as well. Sniper rifle damage, assault rifle damage. I think I'll go health and shields for here. And then assault rifles. And then from here, sniper rifles, power damage of squad mates by 10%. I'll leave that one for now. Proximity mines he can play, is okay. Put proximity mines down whenever you want, sir. I'm fine with that. And of course, overload for breaking shields. That'd be great as well. Hit one additional target within 8 meters with 60% less damage. It just instantly hops to them. Well, it's not really a damage ability. I prefer it did that, actually. Hit more people is great. Oh, we've already used up all our points. That's time to get back out there. Oh, James. Poor James will beefed up. I'm, I'm guessing it is. All right, let's map him a key. In fact, put on that right away. And then we'll map you overload. 
we got you mapped with... I'll put on your hammer, sir. Carnage. And we'll be heading out on the airfield to find out what's going on next episode, guys. So thank you for watching this episode of Mass Effect. I didn't realise the episode was so near its end, so to say. So I'll see you around. Bye-bye.